What I want to show you now is how simple it is to adjust your home page with the Vantage theme. As you can see here, we have our header, menu, slider, three icons, the welcome to Pastor Dre banner, and then the post, and then the information. I want to show you how easy it is to move this to the bottom, this right here, move it to the bottom, or move this up, however you want to do it. Let me show you. Go to Appearance, and then you're going to click on home page and it's easy to add take away however you want to do it see this headline you can move it down just like that you can move the whole thing by grabbing this and going down okay so let's save it and let's see what happened now so our headline won't be in the middle no more it's going to be below the blogs watch see so you can do it like that Pretty cool, huh? Let me show you how to add one. You want to add a row. Make it one row. You can make it our columns, you know, boom, like that. You add four columns, three, two, one. I'm just going to put one. And then you click here, you add widget. And let's just mess around and say we want to do a visual editor. Or you can do text. Okay, let's go ahead and uh hit delete and let's put text so you add widget you can put text so you could just type you know whatever you want however you want to do it but let's go back and we're going to put um visual editor and i'm going to put a, a image so add widget visual editor edit and we're just going to put our uh let's put our banner there but it could be whatever image you want. So you got visual, add media, and we're going to go to our image library, media library. We're going to scroll down. We're going to grab our banner, insert to post. You can resize it. Cool, huh? You can make it in the middle. Make it bigger, smaller, however you want to do it. Okay. Now let's just say we like that. You could put a hyperlink, make it go to your home page, or whatever page you like. So let's just make our home page. And hit update, hit done. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. We just added this right here. Let's see how that looks. Once again, this is bonus material just to show you some cool things you could do. So now, we should have a banner on our website. There it is. See? You click it and it takes us back to our home page. So you could probably find something pretty cool to do with that. Now to get rid of it, all you gotta do is go here, hit delete, and you click this. Oops, sorry. You click here, delete row. Are you sure? Yes. Say we want to move our headline back up, you grab it and you put it there. You can move your headline to the same place as your post, like that. You can move it to the right, like that. Me, I'm not a fan of the loop thing or the text on the bottom. So say I wanted to get rid of that. I just hit edit. I mean, I just hit delete and it'll, it'll get rid of it. Okay. Then I hit save. Now I'm not going to have any text on the bottom. It's going to get rid of this writing right here. Hit refresh. Maybe you like it. You know, it's your preference. It's your website. <laughs> there you go. So now everything's back to where it was before I, I took out the text. Okay. So these are some cool bonus material. Hope it's helping you out. Okay, now what I want to show you how to do is how to change the color of your icons here on your home page. Okay, see, so you have these three icons. I'm going to show you how to change the color. So what you want to do is go to Appearance and Customize. Okay. Once you get to Customize, you're going to go to Theme Design, and you're going to go to Widgets. See that there? You're going to go to Widgets. Okay, now... Here's what the color we have now. So let's see if we can make it uh, gray or blue. 
I think it's kind of already a dark gray. So the way you change it, see where these says select color? You click that. See how it went to blue? I kind of like that blue there. Kind of like it like that. So you hit save. And then you could also change the color of the actual image in the widget by going here. You can move it down, move it around. You can make it black, make it red, however you want to do it. I kind of like the white. And then you hit save. And there you have it. You've adjusted the color of your widget. So now when we go to our home page and hit refresh, we're going to have the blue and white widgets. There it is. Okay, let's move on to the next lecture. All right, everybody. Well, we're almost done. I just want to show you one more last uh, lecture, and then we'll wrap it up. But there's this great plugin called Stack. It brings so much uh, to your website. You could do opt-ins. You could do surveys. You could do countdown timers. You could do videos, uh, images. So you have to pay for it. But if you want to add a whole other level to your website, I want to show you how to do that real quick. All you got to do is go to Stack Plugin dot com okay now when you go to stackplugin.com there's hey, it's going to pop up this page scroll all the way to the bottom okay and you can get the plugin for like twenty seven dollars for a single license multi license you can get it for forty seven or developer license for sixty seven just click buy now it'll take you through the whole process and they're going to email you a file that you need to download okay now once you get that file in your email you download it this is how you're going to add it to your website. Okay, you go to plugins. Okay, add new. Upload plugin. Choose file. Um, ours is downloaded in our downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and get our file. Downloads, plugins. It's called stack. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and install now. I want to show you what this could do. It's, it's an awesome plugin. It adds so much to your website, church website, business website, music group website. Um, you could do, um, people could sign up to your email list. It's pretty cool. So let me just show you how it works. It's installing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, it's done installing. Once it installs, you're going to click active, activate plugin. Okay. Now, once you activate the plugin, you're going to have a little thing here that says stack. You click on that. So I'm going to show you real quick. I got to enter my license. Let me go get that. Okay, I've entered my license key and we're ready to go. Now, what you want to do, once you click stack, this is going to pop up. All you got to do, and it comes with tutorials, support, you click create new to start your first one. Now, you could do opt-ins, media, timer, surveys, offers. So let's just do something real quick. Say you want to do um, um, media. Okay, you got a new song you want people to hear. So we're going to call this My New Song. And here's the pages that you can decide you want it to pop up on. We're going to say we want it to pop up on the home page. Uh, set your trigger action. You could do timed, click away, scroll, timed, and click away. What time and click away is you set a time that it pops up. And if they try to click away, it pops up. So it does both of them. You could do scroll, certain percentage of the page. Say they scroll down 50% of your page, it pops up. Or click away we're gonna do let's do time and scroll so it's gonna come pop up at about seven seconds once they're on my site and then 68% if they scroll down the site okay uh, display limits you can say one per visit one per hour one per day once only ever we're gonna say one per visit for now uh, you have it to swing in that's what we wanted to do um, button animation no animation interval no okay now this is your background setting so when your pop-up comes up this is the color of uh of your that's here your background setting and this is going to be your background color so we're going to set the opacity at let's say 30 percent animation no okay then we'll go over here the template we want is we're going to do media okay let's do media and a timer i'm going to show you how the timer works also okay and then we want it to be in the middle of the page and we don't really have a message and we don't want to redirect them to our URL. You can send them to a URL of your MP3 download. 
So let's just do that. We'll send them to PastorDre.com. But here you could put your MP3 uh, link or URL, which is pretty cool. All right, so the media, you're going to design what's going to be on your media. So you could tell it video only, include border. So we're going to do uh, video. Let's do video. And we're going to include a border. And we're going to include the X. That's where they could close it when it pops up. So we're going to go get one of our YouTube videos. Okay. Pastor Dre, let's get this one. Okay, so I'm going to get the... Oops. I'm going to get the uh, link here. And then we're going to paste it right here. So our URL. Okay, you could have it autoplay. Uh, let's see, do you want to autoplay? You could have controls and you could force HD. Let's just select that for now. Now, say you come in and you say, hey, what's up? This is rapper so-and-so or hi, I'm the pastor of a certain church and we have our new uh, CD series we'd like you to get. You could do so much with this video. And you could say for a limited time only. So then you could put a timer on the top and you say, Timer only, uh, you can include a border, include the X to close it, include the month, include the year. But we're going to do it like this, okay? We're just going to leave it basic, and we're going to choose a date, uh, countdown, we're going to go till Sunday, okay? All right, so we've got one day, 18 hours like that. In message, you could say deal has ended, or however you want to do it. And then you hit save changes. Okay, now you could preview your stack. How would it look on your website? So when people go to your website after seven seconds, it's going to pop up. Or if I scroll down a certain per minute, certain percentage of the page. So there's the pop up, boom, and they can see, view the video. The video starts automatically. This is great. I'm telling you, if you have music, you got a CD, you got an MP3, your music is start, or you could do a personal video saying, hey, what's up? This is so-and-so. I want to invite you to check out my new release or check out our Sunday services or revival. Uh, it would starts in one day, 18 hours, so it could be so cool. All right? So let's go back over here. To publish the stack, you just go back to your dashboard and you hit publish stack. Once you publish it, it's up and running. So if we go and there's where you can edit it and check all your analytics and all that good stuff. How many people have viewed it and opened it. So once we refresh PastorDre.com, I'm going to show you the percentage of the scroll now. Since we waited for the seven seconds of the last one, let me show you the scroll option. So when they come down and they scroll down a certain percentage of the site, it's going to pop up. I think I put 68. See? So it pops up. There you go. So this is a great plugin. Of course, you got to pay for it, but I'm telling you it's well worth it. It'll add so much features to your website. Well, I hope this tutorial has really helped you out and helped you get your online presence to the next level, man. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. I want to thank you for taking this class and talk to you later. God bless. What's up, everybody? Congratulations. You have finished the course. Now you have no excuses. Not to take your online game to the next level, whether it's for your church, your business, your youth ministry, or your music group. It's 2015. It's time to take your online presence to the next level. Now, if you have any questions, you can email me, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com, or you can stop by my website, PastorDre.com. And there's also another website that's real good, has a lot of tutorials on how to help you build a website, and that's creatingwebsite.org. So go ahead and stop by there today, and you'll find a lot of good tutorials. So once again, I want to thank you for taking the course. Take your online game to the next level. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. God bless. Thank you.